about now I want you to raise your bottles cups glasses and cans and let's have a beautiful Sunday morning hatchet compound social to life mm. to living to doing the best we can in the moment <gasps> mama Robin is that you oh I wish you could see her I'll tell you a little story about mama Robin she injured one of her legs. Uh, she only has one leg now to stand up. Think about this. When birds get injured in the wild, who takes care of them? Like, what happens if they break a leg? You don't get to set it and get it to heal properly. No, it just, it just hangs for the rest of your life. And every time I see that robin, I just, I feel really like a lot of sadness for her because she, that's, that's her life now. But at the other, on the other hand, I see her as, a survivor she's learned to land on one foot and her oh shout out to papa robin who stands by her by his woman he's always there like fighting away the finches and the sparrows when they try to come at her for being um not completely able-bodied and uh yeah there's there's it's it's kind of beautiful in that sense and i guess that's a good maybe that's the universe telling me Kristen, that's what you have to share with people today is that um sometimes we're not at our best I'm not at my best. I'm a bit under the weather, actually. Don't worry, it's not COVID. I'm still hauled up here, keeping safe, but, um, you know, not at my best. So a lot of my ideas for the show just were not able to be realized, but I'm here because, well, honestly, it's, yo it's y'all West Coasters. And I was, and, and I dog on the West Coast a little bit because I'm the East Coaster and I'm bitter and I'm like, <laughs> I feel like everything happens in California and your weather is so beautiful. But uh, I, it's shout out to Chris and to Elizabeth who get up at nine in the morning to watch this show. That's why I'm here. Um, and also, uh, well, you know, there's other things we can, when life throws you lemons, make lemoncello and uh, I've got lots of things for you. In fact, you know, I've never showed the tip the TikTok video here on the show. 
So that's what we can do. Let's watch the TikTok video. Um, it's about a year old now, but it's still, you know, it's these, these beautiful blue purples, the lilacs that kind of um, inspire me to think of this video and all of its beautiful colors. So imagine it's spring because it was spring a year ago and now it's spring again. That's the beauty of time travel that we've learned during the pandemic. All right, check this out. <laughs> Must she live in fear? Tick tock, tick tock. Now we're punching the clock. Owned by a company who don't give a fuck. Tick tock, tick tock. Cause the body can't stop. No, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Tick tock, tick tock. Now we're punching the clock. Told by the magistrate, your store's a crock. Tick tock, tick tock. Cause the body can't stop. No, oh, oh. Jesus, that wasn't good. Oh, how much time have I got? How much time have I got? Don't, Kristen, don't fuck this up at the end. Don't fuck this up at the end. Come on, come on. Wait, am I live? Oh, dip. Scheduling fail. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> that's okay, because I want to selfie stick everybody. We're going for a little walk. I want to show you the beautiful nest that is uh, my community garden, which when we last visited was a barren wasteland of dead plants. Oh, hello, look who's come to say hello. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Hi, hello, 
Oh, do you hear food? Do you hear the sound of food? Is that what it? <gasps> oh, my bird seed brings all the birds to the yard, and they're like, "It's better than y'all's, damn right! It's better than y'all's." I could teach you, but you'd have to buy your own bird seed, right? Oh my God, right in the sun. Let's go somewhere else where I'm not right in the sun. All right. Hi. All right. So the birds. Hello. I'm doing a web show <laughs> on my phone. So these are the community garden birds and they live right by my house. And I love them so much, so much. All right. But that's not all that's in the community garden. Let's take a little walk. Let's take a walk. Let's see if I can navigate a silk stick. <gasps> What's this? Is this, hey everybody, come take a look. We've got a pond. It's a solar paneled pond in our, oh, who is that shy little fishy? Who is that shy little fishy? Can you see him? Can you see him? Probably not, because we're right in the sun. But uh, yeah, this is my community garden. It's pretty awesome here. It's right behind my house, it's like a little park. Now we're going into the shade of the cherry trees, and the apple trees. Um, we're kind of a socialist garden, unapologetically, meaning if you grow something in the garden, then you share it with all the other gardeners. And it kind of works out at first, you know, you can't, it's hard to wrap your head around, but then you realize like, oh, if I'm away, someone will help me take care of my plot and vice versa and you get diversity of crops. And it's kind of good, you know? Wouldn't it be nice if we all would just take care of each other all the time, yay. Oh, well, some people are like, yo, Chim, all my friends in Europe, countries where they care a little more. <laughs> I'm not saying Americans don't care. Oh, don't get me started. I'm so, I'm so out of it. I'm not, I'm not thinking clearly as I should. All right. Now we're going to get up close and personal with, uh, I'm not going to let the chickens out, I swear to God. We're gonna get up front and personal with the pagoda. Oh, we've seen the pagoda. Whoa, what just happened? Pagoda, pagoda, you say pagoda, I say pagoda. Pagoda, 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 pagoda. Let's just store our tools inside. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the garden this year. It's a real beautiful place of refuge. It's quiet. It's a good place to go to listen for the very the quietest sounds. You know, everything gets so loud in this world. So it's good to just listen to the quiet little details. Anyways, so yeah, I'm wishing for better things. I gotta get completely vaccinated before I can enact some of the ideas I have for the show some special guests and whatnot. Um, and in the meantime, uh, I am dreaming of better times to come. I know we all are. Um, yesterday was birthday, a very special lady. Her name is Ashel Cole. And we here in Baltimore call her Sister Ashel. And she is the leader of a band, longtime roots reggae band here in Baltimore called Strikers Posse. And we, uh, and I am honored to be playing guitar in the all female version of her band. Like it's really powerful. And uh, well, I figured as a belated birthday present to Ishelle, but also so y'all can see just how awesome Strikers Posse is. Um, I thought maybe I could share a video from uh, one of our shows back when there were shows. So. We were opening for Toots and oh, may he rest in power. All right, check this out, everybody. This one's, this is really awesome. The only female reggae group on the East.
aka Super uh, Power. Good the stuff, only everybody. female reggae group on the yeah. East Coast. Really Y'all excited. make some noise and give it up for Super Excited for, um, excited for, uh, playing with Strikers again. Excited to be playing with the Players Band again. We've got some, we've got a wedding coming up and, uh, of course, excited to play with the Scotch Bonnets again. Hey, how many of y'all are going to come out to the live stream, yo? You know, like, that is causing me tremendous stress right now. Just trying to get the word out about that. Trying to fight the algorithm monster. God, he really is winning this time. <sighs> Struggle is real. But come on out. It'll be a good time, I promise. Um, I was hoping to get my girl Olivia Mancini on the show. Uh, not this week, but hopefully in the future. I got a bunch of other special guests signed up. I just got to get vaccinated, and that happens this, my second dose is this Wednesday. So uh, there'll be lots more things happening uh, on the show once I'm fully vaccinated. But um, to get you excited, I'm going to play one of Olivia's tunes uh, in like a kind of, uh, uh, in a reggae kind of style. Kind of? I don't know. What is Sky anymore? <laughs> enjoy that I hope so that brought a little like love to my heart so thank you all for hanging out um I hope y'all are getting vaccinated I hope y'all are getting out there um I know getting back into real life is is crazy but uh some of y'all are already there so I can't really feel too sorry for myself and um for those of us trying to make that transition just you know just keep forwarding at a medium slow pace and eventually you'll remember how to tread water again and then you'll start swimming a little faster that's what that's my strategy um this week was tough but i did the show i did all the things i needed to do on my checklist so 
I'd consider that a win. You know, count your small victories and uh, enjoy your Sundays and New England. What about that snow? What is that? Why are they doing that to you? Why? Why? It's April 18th. We've been in spring for almost a month. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I hope things get more spring-like soon. But regardless, have a nice day.